good morning. <laughs> We've, uh, Marsh and I have done some fussing back and forth. Not really fussing. I don't think she fusses. She don't fuss with me much. Used to. Uh, <laughs> fuss quite a bit. In a good way. It's always been good. Uh, we was, when Marsh and I met, I'll tell you all something. When Marsh and I met, uh, it was a blind date. And uh, I, when I went to the door to pick her up, I talked to her on the phone a couple of times. Uh, after my sister set us up, I called her, you know, to make sure that uh, I could come pick her up for a go out on a date. And uh, when she opened the door, I looked around her, say, uh, I'm here to pick Marsha up. You know, I looked around. Because this beauty standing in the doorway surely wasn't for me. <laughs> so, but it was, it was been, uh, I don't know how many of you, we've been married 31 years, right? 31 years. Uh, and uh, it was a blind date. We we had uh, known each other a couple of weeks, three weeks. Yeah. And uh, we got married. And it's been it's been a, a blessing ever since. That was something that it was God set up, you know. <clears throat> but anyway, if I didn't say it, good morning. And uh, Marsha, you want to say good morning to these, this, uh, this crowd today? Good morning. Good morning. All right, so this is on Colossians 1, verse 11, and Colossians 1, verse 12. There's uh, six or eight here on, the, on verse 1, or verse 11, and the, oh, 10, I think, or so, 12 on the other one. So I'll put them together. And because it makes a good reading that way, I've I read through it and and I it 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 needs to go together. So that's what we'll do. All right. So we'll get this thing done. It's cold outside. I went out there a while ago and uh, it's raining. It's raining. So it's cool. Build a fire. I'm gonna have to build a fire. <laughs> I have no problem with that. I will put a fire together. My my granddaughter enjoys it. I do. Then Marsha, we we get warm in here. We open the back door up and help the outside warm up. That's what we do. <laughs> All right, Colossians one eleven, <clears throat> and uh, Colossians one twelve. I'll, when I get to Colossians one twelve, I'll read that one out loud. Colossians one twelve, and then we'll know where that one kicks off. All right. So, so you, for those of you that differentiate that. Uh, which ones are what, that'll, that'll give you a breaking point. All right. Being endued with all power in accord with the might of his glory for all endurance and patience with joy. And he has protested to me, sufficient for you is my grace. For my power and infirmity is being perfected. With the greatest relish, then, will I rather be glorying in my infirmities that the power of Christ should be tabernacling over me, that he may be giving you, in the core of the riches of his glory, to be made staunch with power through his Spirit and the man within. For the rest, brethren mine, be invigorated in the Lord and in the might of his strength, for all am I strong in him who is invigorating me, Christ. Now we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the transcendence of the power may be of God, not of us. To those indeed who by endurance and good acts are seeking glory and honor and in corruption, life eonian. Yet not only so, but we may be glorying also in afflictions having perceived that affliction is producing endurance, yet endurance, testedness, testedness, expectation. <laughs> expectation is not mortifying, seeing that the love of God has been poured out in our hearts through the Holy Spirit, which is being given to us. In whom the God of this eon blinds the apprehensions of the unbelieving, so that the Illumination of the evangel, the glory of Christ, who is the image of the invisible God, does not eradicate them. 
for we are not heralding ourselves, but Christ Jesus the Lord. Get ourselves your slaves because of Jesus, for the God who says that out of darkness light shall be shining is he who shines in our hearts with a view to the illumination of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Wherefore, I delight in infirmities, in outrages, in necessities, in persecutions, in distress, for Christ's sake. For whenever I may be weak, then I am powerful. With all humility and meekness, with patience, bearing with one another in love. No one is to be swayed by these afflictions. For you yourselves are aware that we are located for this. For even if we were with you, we predicted to you that we are about to be afflicted according as it came to be also, and you are aware. You then, child of mine, be invigorated with the grace which is in Christ Jesus. And what the things you hear from me through many witnesses, these commit to faithful men who shall not be competent who shall be competent to teach others also. Suffer evil with me as an ideal soldier of Jesus Christ. Colossians 1, verse 12. At the same time, giving thanks to the Father, who makes you competent for a part of the allotment of the saints in life, who rescues us out of the jurisdiction of darkness and transports us into the kingdom of the Son of his love. Now all prostitution and uncleanliness or greed let it not even be named among you, according as is becoming in saints, and vileness and stupid speaking or insuendos, which is not proper, but rather thanksgiving, giving thanks always for all things. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, to our God and Father, being subject to one another in the fear of Christ. The, the word fear, this means it's reverence, or to be in awe of. So to be subject to one another in the fear of Christ. And let the peace of Christ be arbitrating in your hearts, for which you were called also in one body, and become thankful. And everything, whatever you may be doing, in word or in act, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Nevertheless, for us there is one God, the Father out of whom all is, and we for him, and one Lord, Jesus Christ, through whom all is, and we through him, one God and Father of all, who is head, who is over all, and through all, and in all. That your hearts may be consoled, being united in love, and to all the riches of the assurance of understanding, unto a realization of the secret of the God and Father of Christ that whom he foreknew he designates beforehand also to be conformed to the image of his son for him to be firstborn among many brethren. Now whom he designates beforehand, these he calls also. And whom he calls, he justifies also. Now whom he justifies, these he glorifies. It is that he should be making known the riches of his glory on the vessels of mercy which he makes ready before for glory, us. <laughs> now, he who produces for us the same longing is God, who is also giving us the earnest of the Spirit, who gives himself for us that he should be redeeming us from all lawlessness and be cleansing for himself a people to be about him, zealous for ideal acts. Now all I am doing because of the evangel that I may be becoming a joint participant in it. In spirit, the nations are to be joint in joys of an allotment and a joint body and joint partakers of the promise of Jesus Christ. The spirit itself is testifying together with our <coughs> spirit that we are children of God. Yet if children enjoyers of an allotment, enjoyers indeed of an allotment from God, Yet, joint enjoyers of Christ's allotment. If so be that we are suffering together, that we should be glorified together also. In him who our lot was cast, being designated beforehand, according to the purpose of the one who is operating all in accord with the counsel of his will. 
<laughs> that we should be for the Lord of his glory, who are pre-expectant in the Christ, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may be giving you a spirit of wisdom and revelation in the realization of him, the eyes of your heart having been enlightened, for you to perceive what is the expectation of his calling and what the riches of the glory of the enjoyment of his allotment among the saints. <laughs> there, there it is. That's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. So I put them together. I think it's it needed to be there. All right. So anyway, <laughs> nothing to add. You need to tell them because I coughed. I don't have the oh, beer virus. Or she coughed. <laughs> take a uh, <laughs> take a cough drop for that cough. <laughs> oh, anyway. I don't have the bear virus, okay? She, she calls it the bear virus. Uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't. I don't speak of it. I don't. We, we got enough going on in this world without worrying about that. But you know what? Our expectation—that's what we hang on to, right? We hang on to that thing. Uh, that's in Him who our lot was cast. That we should be the for the Lord of His glory, who are pre expectant in the Christ. We need to perceive what is the expectation of His calling, and what the riches of the glory of the enjoyment of His allotment is among us. That's what we focus on. All right, it's a wrap. I will talk to y'all tomorrow. Have a fantastic day. <laughs>